The leaves are also dried and grounded into powder and used as treatment for diabetic patients. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Earth's Medicine. Today we're going to be featuring a Jamaican medicinal plant called Susumba. Susumba is used as food and in traditional folklore medicine in Jamaica and in other cultures around the world. So we're going to be focusing more on the medicinal properties of this plant and how it is used in traditional folklore medicine across various cultures. And we're going to start right now. Okay guys, you are now looking at a plant that Jamaicans commonly refer to as Susumba. However, the scientific name for Susumba is Solanum torvum. Now, Solanum torvum belongs to the Solanaceae plant family, otherwise known as the nightshade family, and the genus Solanum. In other parts of the world, there are other common names, but the preferred common name is turkeyberry. There is also devil's fig, pea, eggplant, susumber, and plate brush, among many other names in different languages. So guys, Susumbo can be described as an evergreen shrub or small tree that tends to grow to an average height of 3 meters tall. But you know, it can grow up to 5 meters tall. These are the leaves of the plant and as you can see, they are broad, simple, and alternately arranged. They are also ovate to elliptical in shape, and they are lobed, meaning that they have rounded or pointed parts that stick out from the main part. This is the stem, and notice that it has thorns. The plant produces small white star-shaped flowers that have a yellow center and these flowers appear in large branched clusters. The plant also produces fruits that are small green berries. They are called gully beans and they turn yellow when they are ripe, they also contain numerous round, flat seeds that are cream to light brown in color. So, Susumba is native to some parts of the Americas, you know, like South America, Central America and the Caribbean but you can also find it in some parts of the United States, some parts of Asia, Africa, Australia and the Pacific Islands. In Jamaica, Susumbo grows wildly and um, organically all over Jamaica and you can find it in backyards, forests and other green spaces. It tends to grow best in full sun but it will do well in light shade. So guys, these green berries have a very distinctive 
bitter taste that you really have to acquire the taste for. And they're mostly eaten by the older folks and Rastafarians in Jamaica. And what they usually do is to boil them when they are very young with salt fish or salt mackerel. Um, the Rastafarians tend to eat them with ackee. And in other cultures around the world, persons eat these berries as well. Some persons eat them raw. And in other cultures around the world, persons also use these berries in their cuisines as well. For example, in India and in Thailand. And in some cultures, people also eat the leaves flowers and young shoots as well. Research has proven that gully beans have cardioprotective activity and can be used in the treatment of heart-related diseases. They also have nephroprotective antioxidant activity meaning they can preserve kidney function especially when they are exposed to unusual or unique stress they also have pain killing and anti-inflammatory activity anti also and antimicrobial activity It really isn't the norm for a lot of Jamaicans to use susumba in their traditional folklore medicine. However, there are some females who use the leaves of the plant to make tea, which they drink for uterine issues. For others, they use the tea to treat the cold and the flu. If you're enjoying the video so far guys, I'm asking you please to hit that like button right now and leave a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Also, please share the video as well so that others can benefit from the information. So guys, susumba is used to treat many ailments across various cultures. So I won't be able to share all of them today, but here are a few. Um, people use the plant for things like high blood pressure, um, digestive issues to manage pain and inflammation and for bacterial infections. And because the plant is a rich source of plant-based iron it is oftentimes consumed to treat or prevent anemia um, in India the powdered leaves are mixed with warm water or hot milk and you know used to treat colds and coughs in India as well the juice of the leaf is used to reduce body heat and the unripened fruits are used to strengthen the body. In some parts of Africa, an infusion of the leaves is taken orally as an antidote and um, in Sierra Leone, the fruit is used as a cough medicine for children. In the Cameroon, the plant is used to manage pain and inflammation and in Yucatan the plant is used to induce sweat as a diuretic and to treat pain, convulsions, coughs, asthma, gout, rheumatism, syphilis and skin diseases. In Ghana, the unripened fruit 
and leaves are used to treat tuberculosis. And um, in other cultures, the leaves are also dried and grounded into powder and used as treatment for diabetic patients. And um, the fruit juice is applied locally to ease irritation, you know, from ant bites and the leaves are applied locally as well to treat cuts and skin diseases. The glycoalkaloids present in susumbo when consumed in large doses can cause adverse digestive and neurological symptoms such as nausea, stomach ache, diarrhea, dizziness, and confusion. There also isn't enough scientific evidence regarding the safety of susumbo among women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. There are dangers associated with the use of herbal remedies. If you would like to learn more about the latter, then please click on the link in the description below. Medical Disclaimer The information shared on Earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment. It is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine. If you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns, please speak to your doctor about same.